Are you being faced with an opportunity to start over? Do you see it as a blessing or as a curse? Do you want to know a simple step-by-step -step process to stop you from getting overwhelmed when you're starting over? Welcome to today's show where I'm going to share that with you and so much more on this episode of Going Deeper. Welcome to today's episode of Going Deeper with John Morris. Join the show that tackles the topics that many around the world struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. From mental and physical health to emotional and spiritual well-being. But that's not all. John also shares his teaching on more focused topics, such as anxiety, self-image, gaining employment, the importance of educating oneself, developing a deeper spiritual connection, mental and physical well-being, and so much more. Want to be the best you can be? You're in the right place. And now please welcome Mind, Body and Soul's very own John Morris. Well, hey folks, and welcome to another exciting episode of Going Deeper. I am your host, John Morris, and welcome to the show that's designed to get you from where you are to where you want to be, step by step, and with simple, easy to follow techniques. As always, reminding you, I never teach on anything that I haven't had first hand experience in. And with that in mind, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend because it could be the very thing that they need to hear in their hour of struggle, and it helps us as well. So now we've got that out of the way, we want to talk about starting over. It is one of the things I think that people fear the most because it's the uncertainty, it's a time of transition. If you've seen our episode on transitions, you know that we used William Bridges' uh, example of this, that every transition has three stages. The first stage is the idea. The second stage is what we call the proverbial no man's land, where people get really uncomfortable, really uncertain, really worried, um, and they oftentimes try to revert back. And you see this all the time in relationships or in gym memberships or in study or or in college or leaving home, whatever it might be. This is the way people often work. But if you can press through, you end up with stage three where you end up developing a new habit, a new style, a new change, a new uh, discipline, whatever it might be. So, starting over. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, there's a number of different things that we can talk about starting over. But the one I want to focus on today is from a relational or business point of view. And in fact, let, let's, let's examine this in the broad spectrum, shall we? What it means to start over is any time that a way of life that you've experienced for a long period of time has come to an end and you may have lost a lot of things, okay? So it could be a financial breakdown. It could be a relationship breakup. It could be the loss of a loved one. It could be the loss of a mother or father, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it might be, your partner. Starting over can be one of the hardest things. It doesn't get easier with age, but it does get easier when you build up your knowledge bank. And I can speak to that from my own experience. I've had to start over several times in my life um, because I put my trust perhaps in the wrong person before I learned all of this stuff or because I made an error, you know, with finances. Whatever it might be, I remember you know, the, the, the starting over process where you're sitting there in this one bedroom, you know, apartment that you're sharing with three other people. At that time I was in, I was in my late twenties and, you know, so I was in my mid twenties and I was, you know, sharing with teenagers and I'm like, oh my goodness, they're partying and they're doing all this stuff and they're loud and they're, you know, wild randy rabbits, you know, and that was really difficult and I didn't do too well in coping with that. In fact, it really affected me for a number of years. But then when I started thinking about it, I thought I never want anybody else to have to go through that without step-by-step -step plans. So that's when I started to put together all of these different plans and all these different areas and that's where my body and soul and going deeper was born. So, I want you to pull out a pen and paper. If you're in a process now where you've broke up a relationship and you're starting over and whatever it might be, I want you to start to think because that's the best thing that you can do. I want you to start to think right now. And the first thing that I want you to think about is the situation that you find yourself in, okay? Now, if you've been married, for example, I'm, I'm gonna use that one, um, you know, and, and the relationship for whatever way has broken up. I want you to really examine that situation and figure out what does that mean for you. It might mean loss of security, it might mean loss of assistance, it might mean if you work together the loss of a business partner. I want you to really be clear, okay, so you list it out, what does it mean for you, 
and what effect will that have? So for example, if it's a loss of a wife or a husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, it might mean that the effect is you need to start making new friends. It might mean, or in fact, list it out as the opportunity. It might mean that you need to start making new friends. It might mean if you're in business with your husband or wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, that you need to seek another professional to help you in this business. Is it something you can manage by yourself for a while? If it's a case of loss of income, then the obvious answer is, well, the opportunity is, how do I make more money? It's not difficult. When you, when you, you the, the problem for a lot of people, they get into depression, they get into anxiety, they get overwhelmed, but they will do anything to avoid thinking. When you actually think your way out of a problem, you're actually lethal. One, one uh, coach that's out there says, if you can write, you can speak, and you can think, you're lethal. You're really lethal. So I dread to think <laughs> what it would make of me. But literally, it is so true. When you just start to think your way out of a problem, all of a sudden things don't seem so overwhelming. And you can change the situation. You can actually use it for your benefit. If it's been a painful relationship, for example, and you've now broken up, then it's an opportunity. It is a realignment period, of course, but it's an opportunity that you can now start to sit there and say, okay, I'm free of someone that made me miserable. What opportunities now can I choose for myself? It's an opportunity to do something perhaps in a new way and put a positive twist on it. Remember, you've got, you've got the choice whether you see this, this fresh start and starting over as a positive thing or a negative thing, and it all comes down to how you use your mind. Some people that I know and I've coached recently, I'm thinking one in particular, um, left the family home and is doing so much better for doing that. They, I'm not gonna give the gender away, but they as a person, are doing so much better and developing themselves and I am so proud of them. And they're becoming a much better parent, they're becoming a much better partner. And it is really, really important for them in this time because they've never had that opportunity before. And you might say, well, that's an extreme case. Now, again, you don't know the reasons, you don't, and I don't know the reasons, and it's not for us to judge. These are the realities. So the first thing I like to say is examine the situation and see the opportunities. The second thing is start to develop a plan. You know, okay, if, if you're struggling financially, okay, what can I do right here, right now, that could help me, you know, get more money? It could be an Amazon affiliate. It could be a, a Mind, Body and Soul affiliate. You can come and work with us. It could be, uh, you know, you may need to take a temporary job. Okay, now if you're interested for you and you might say, well, I haven't had a job in a while, John. I said, right, well, I can coach you how to get a job. We've actually got free training on how to get a job, which probably will increase your percentage of getting a job by about 90 to 95% because of the steps that I walk you through. And if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, I can help you with that. Get in touch with us at battlesweallface.com. I would love to work with you. So that's the, that's the second thing. So be aware of the situation, examine it, see what opportunities are there, and then get a plan. The third one that's really simple is follow through on the plan. If you say, okay, well, I need to get a job, then Google it. You know, Google is literally the world's largest library. Sit there and say, right, what jobs are in my local area that I can do? If you're self-employed, what service could I be to somebody else or to another business? And in doing that, it means that you're taking care and control. You're taking charge of your financial destiny. You're taking charge of your own destiny. That is really, really important because if you don't do that, you will sit there overwhelmed, anxious, money pouring out the door. You'll procrastinate, as we talked about a couple of weeks ago. You'll procrastinate until the sun goes down and the heavens open, and things will just get worse and worse and worse. Remember, if you put your head in the sand, you can't control anything that's going on. You need to take charge, and you need to take charge in action of yourself. You can only control you. You can't control anyone else. Okay, and that's, you know, you can't even control the situation, but you control how you respond to it and what you do. Nowadays, if I had to start over again, I would operate in a very, very different way to what I did several, in fact, 10 years ago, a decade ago, okay? So it's really important that you examine the situation, see what opportunities are there, make a plan, follow through on that plan, 
and ultimately start finding those new people in your life, start attracting those new people into your life that are going to help you be who you want to be, that are going to help support you in your journey. Remember, when you start changing and you start getting aware and saying, who do I want to be in this moment now? I'm now free. I can be whoever I want. Do I want to be someone that's more loving, kind, caring, compassionate? Do I want to be someone that's more energetic? Do I want to open a business? Everyone's done it. <laughs> you know, there's no reason why you can't. Do I want to educate myself further? There is no reason why you can't do what you want to do. And you've got my support as well. And if I can help in any way, of course, drop me a message and I'll be right here. So I hope that helps you today. If you are starting over, you've just started over, whatever it might be. If you've got any questions or comments, please comment in the section below. I would love to hear from you. If you're interested in personal development coaching, get in touch with me either in the comment section below or thebattlesweallface.com. You can get in touch with us for monthly memberships in the group coaching and in one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Patreon.com forward slash mind, body and soul. We would love to work with you and we'd love to hear from you. And aside from that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Tell your friends because it could be the very thing that they need to hear in their hour of struggle. And until next time, take care. God bless. I've been your host, John Morris. This has been Going Deeper where we help you get from where you are to where you want to be step by step and hopefully simply have a phenomenal week, guys. Take care. Do you, your son or daughter, struggle with direction, clarity and purpose? Maybe you struggle with anxiety. Maybe you struggle with self-esteem or confidence issues. Maybe you've got great ideas, but you've no idea how to get from where you are to where you want to be. Don't worry, you're not alone. People around the world struggle with these issues. Hi there, I'm John Morris. I'm the coach of the creative mind and I'm also a psychologist in training. For the last two decades, I've worked with people from all walks of life and all over the world, all with a wide variety of issues. I've worked with people from youth groups to adult education to people dealing with day-to-day -day living issues. And each one of them has an amazing story to tell and we've helped them get clear as to where they are and clear as to where they want to be. And I want to help you too. Like a lot of life coaches and therapists that like to drag things on and leave you dangling on the carrot, I want to make sure that each and every single time that we meet and have a life coaching session together, that you never ever leave saying, man, that was a waste of time, or I didn't get the value that I desired. I am committed to making sure that each and every single time we meet, you are one step closer by the time we finish to a goal that you have in mind. So why should you work with me? Well, let me tell you, as I said, I'm committed to making sure that I provide value, that I provide something that's step by step and easy to follow. I'm also a fantastic listener. I've been blessed with the gift of listening and I love to listen to people, their stories, their, their dreams, their desires, because there's nothing more energetic and passionate to me than when a client gets their first desire or they get that goal or they hit that big target or whatever it might be. And also, as the trifecta, I am committed to you to helping you take action. So whether or not it be deciding on the university you want to go to, deciding on the course that you want to be at, helping you get excited and passionate about your work environment, whatever it might be, I am committed to helping that happen. I'm also committed if you need to shed some pounds, if you need to gain some muscle mass, if you need to, I don't know, develop your self-esteem, I'm committed to helping you take action and following a step-by-step plan of action that we can put together. But now folks, I want to tell you about the early bird special offer that we are launching right now. It is for 10 people and 10 people alone. That's right, if you are interested in having life coaching sessions with me one-on-one, -on -one, 10 people have the opportunity to do that and we're looking to help these people change their lives completely. We take ages 14 and upwards, so if you're interested in learning how to get from where you are to where you want to be, to really develop that passion to live a life that you enjoy as opposed to a life that you wake up and think, ah, oh. you know, how to develop and change your mindset from maybe a negative one to a positive one, understanding what fuels your mindset and understanding what creates the kind of life that you want to live, then get in touch with me today. I would love to hear from you. As I say, this is open only for 10 people and once it's done, it's done. So click that box below, get in touch. Let's have a conversation backwards and forwards and see if we're a fit for each other. And I look forward to working with you. Have an amazing day folks take care god bless and i will see you soon